So when writing data, which means when pushing data down a level in the storage hierarchy, we can make a decision on where to write the data. And basically there exist only two strategies. The first is direct write or update in place. So in this strategy, the new block overrides the old block on hard disk. This has some problems because we might end up with a possibly inconsistent state. So what does that mean? Assume we have a block A on hard disk. Now we read it in domain memory. Now we have a copy in main memory. Now we modify it and call it a prime. That's a modified version, a newer version of the block. So we have to write it down again to the hard disk. If we overwrite this block now, there may be different situations that ruin the consistency of the block. The first is, assume there's a power failure while writing the block. So it may happen that while you're writing block A prime over A, there's a power failure, and that means you end up in a situation where only the first half of the block reflects the new state A prime. So this would be reflecting A prime, and that would still reflect A. So even if you're able to restart the hard disk, to restart the system, when you then try to read this block again, you will see that the first half is A prime, the second half is A, so there's no real state. You can neither go back to A nor A prime. Yeah, it's like something in the middle, a state that shouldn't exist. And that's very problematic for a database system with respect to its asset properties. So here we're violating the consistency. And the second, so that's one problem that may happen. The second is, of course, transactional semantics. If you have transactions and you have the same situation, like you have a block A, you read it into memory, you modify it, and then you write it back for whatever reason. And this overwrite works well. So now you really have A prime on disk here, but then the transaction says abort. So as you might remember, this means that all changes done by that transaction have to be removed by the database system. In other words, we have to get back to the old state, which is A. So if we don't have an old copy of A, we can't go back to this old version, to the old state of the database, which means we can't remove the changes done by that transaction, which is now aborting, which means we are violating ACID again. Yeah, so in both cases, ACID would be violated. So direct write and update in place shouldn't be used without further techniques. Typically databases use direct write and update in place, but they use it in conjunction with logging. We will get back to that. If you use this without logging, you will run into problems. So the second strategy, indirect write and deferred update, avoids those consistency problems. It works as follows. We keep the old and the new block until the modifying transaction has committed. The advantage is we have a consistent state at all times. And there are various different ways of doing that. Let's look at the very simple ways of doing that first. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Thank you. So if you want to see more database videos, be it in English or in German, take a look at my website datenbankenlernen.de. It has a couple of English and German videos. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel, Jens Did, or you look at our website, infosys.uni-saarland.de. See you there.